Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Nolte's Lightning Talks. Uh, I'm Juan Alanis, broadcasting live from New York, from our New York office. Uh, so I work at Nolte in business development, and I handle sales tasks and marketing tasks as well. Uh, so yeah, today's talk is going to be about the new WordPress editor, Gutenberg. So just a brief agenda of what we're going to cover today. Uh, an intro, why Gutenberg, blocks, how the blocks work, and a quick demo of how Gutenberg works. So quick, a quick intro to, to Gutenberg. In January 2019, it was released by WordPress, and it was the first major change to its previous content editor, the first one in years. Uh, it was named for Johannes Gutenberg, who was the inventor of the printing press. And uh, Gutenberg completely revolutionizes the way content is added to WordPress, and it makes the process easy and fun, especially for people who have never used WordPress before. So a little history about WordPress. Uh, WordPress is the world's most popular website builder, and it's also a complete content management system with tools for creating static and dynamic posts. Um, with the previous editor, it was possible to use to insert different kinds of content from different sources, but there are also different approaches and processes for the different kinds of content. Uh, so for example, if in addition to text, you wanted to add videos or media files to the post, you would have to follow different processes and approaches for each of those different types of content. And uh, managing and integrating all these things into the post could be, could be quite cumbersome, and it could require multiple actions in order to get the page or the post to look and perform as you wanted it to. So what Gutenberg does is it revolutionizes the process with an editing interface that's based on a system of blocks. And uh, these blocks provide simple ways to organize content visually while adding a variety of media without, without having to make adjustments for multiple file types or interfaces. So these are the Gutenberg blocks on the right. Uh, the blocks act basically like templates for different kinds of content so that they can be placed in their own blocks and moved, rearranged, deleted, or modif modified to get the layout and visual appearance a user is looking for. For new users, Gutenberg's block structure provides a way to organize content visually and that a variety of media without having to make adjustments for multiple file types or interfaces. On the more technical side, WordPress, a WordPress block is a JavaScript object that is also rendered on the backend in PHP. PHP's, PHP is a programming language that's used to create uh, WordPress itself. Uh, each block is a self-contained unit that is designed to hold a certain kind of content. So like for developers, the block system allows uh, for customizing existing blocks, as well as for creating new ones with specific kinds of functionality. So the, in the, how the blocks work. Uh, in Gutenberg, every poster page consists of a combination of relevant block types that are filled with content. So to create a new page or post, you first need to, need to select the blocks you'll need for the kind of content you plan to include. Gutenberg comes, like said, with, def with default blocks that can be used to add basic elements like text, headers, and images. And all a user has to do is to select the desired block type from the Add Block menu when starting either a new page or a post. When a block is selected, it appears in the editor ready to be filled. Uh, when you select a block, it opens all the available tools that are related to the block block, like editing tools for headers and placement options uh, for images added to blocks either from external sources, sources or from the media library. Um, also, users with development experience can create their own custom blocks. And any user can access the expanding library of custom blocks that are being produced by members of the WordPress community. That's pretty cool. So like plugins and themes, custom blocks can be purchased from third party developers that are taking advantage of a growing market for the new WordPress assets. Um, some advantages of the block. So the Gutenberg block system streamlines the content creation process in many ways, and it has benefits for both new and experienced users. Um, and I can attest to that. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, our marketing lead, Dwayne, was out, and uh, I had to edit a couple of blog posts, and I had never used WordPress before, and it literally took me an hour to get used to it and to learn how to use it from scratch. And uh, by the end of that hour, I was editing posts like I'd been doing it for like a year. So that's 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 pretty cool, um, and the blocks the blocks itself themselves can now perform a bunch of functions that you can only do with added plugins before. So like you can create galleries or slideshows, and they can work with pretty much any theme. And uh, additionally, there's there's no limit to the number of blocks that can be added to a post or page, 
And after they've been added, the blocks can be moved, copied, or edited at any time. Um, like any other aspect of the WordPress platform, blocks can be modified by any WordPress user and shared among the WordPress community. And that makes it possible for developers to create new blog types with specialized functions or customize existing blog types even further to, make, to meet specific needs. Gutenberg's blog-based content creation system can take some getting used to, but the developers promise that this new seamless page builder is the next step in the quest to make online publishing easy and accessible to everyone. And now I'm going to give you guys a quick demo of how it works. So this is the dashboard uh, of the WordPress, the WordPress home. So there you go to posts, add new post, and boom, just like that, you're, you're, you're creating your post. So we're going to give this post a title, some things that make me happy. And then you just press enter, and boom, you're typing, you're typing your first paragraph. But I'm going to change the block. Windows being recorded on YouTube? Sorry? Could you check if this window is being recorded on YouTube? It's a video in part of the presentation. Oh, OK. So I'm just going to put the first heading in there. Game of Thrones definitely makes me happy. And to add some media, these are the blocks, the main blocks. So I'm going to add a, a quick video pop-up, super quick. Just go on YouTube, search the video that you want. OK, let's pick a cool one. And that'll do. Then you just copy the link, go back to the post. Boom, and there's your video. Give it a little heading. OK, now for something else that makes me happy, very happy, tacos. But wait, they have to be authentic Mexican tacos. And for this, I don't think I can add a video, so I'm probably going to add image. Oh, just drag it from the from the desktop. And there we have it. Authentic Mexican tacos. Give it a give the image a quick caption. Boom. Off to the next section. So something else that makes me happy is music. Definitely good music. So for this, I have the option, but I'm probably gonna go with SoundCloud. Open up a new tab. Just go on SoundCloud real quick. Mm. OK. Now you just copy the sharing link. Take embed and close. Give this one another quick caption. Join the classics. And now give it another heading. You can check out some more work from our team. This is really cool. You can add other posts that are on the website. They boom, they pop up right there. So yeah. And you just have to save the draft. And there's this really cool option where you can preview uh, the post. And you can see how it looks. Check if the videos work. Does work. It's great. And then let's see the tacos, see if the music works, posts. And boom, just like that, post created.
So I hope you, everyone enjoyed this presentation on Gutenberg. And stay tuned for next week's edition of Nolte's Lightning Talks.